All right, the goal today. We gotta get Big Joe up here to see his best friend Dunbar. Let's get him rounded up, brought in here. I don't know what's gotten into Haas. He must be pumped for working day. <gasps> Maya. Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Timbers Bison. I'm Dusty. And that's Haas. That's a heifer. Heifer. Dunbar! Oh, he's over there laying down, chilling by the hay. Yep, it's a cold, wet day, but work on the bison tomorrow. Haas. Super excited, as you can tell. Uh huh, uh huh. Atta boy. Yes, yes, yes. He is quite the knucklehead. All right, the goal today. Kevin is working on welding up some panels that uh, have broke recently. I'll talk to you about that here in a second. But the goal today is, is not them necessarily. It is them out there. Big Joe herd. Our large one single herd here at the Ponderosa is right out here. And we've got to bring them from here into here. And this is the lot that Marissa and I split up with freestanding panels right through here. You can kind of go watch some recent videos of what we've been doing. There's the hay bale holder I just put out where Dunbar is hanging out. So we've got to move them over there on the other side and then the Big Joe herd will come in here. And once again, Dunbar and Big Joe will be face to face again. It's just is what it is. Just for a little bit, you've got tough freestanding panels in between them. It's not that bad. But, and they've been actually pretty chill. It's not breeding season, so they've been behaving. The boys have been good. Oh, there's a new little red dog out there. You don't see it out there. Oh yeah, it's exciting. It is kind of cold and wet right now, a little muddy. Sun's supposed to come out and hopefully dry some of this stuff up. But um, Cole's coming. He's gonna help film and edit these videos for us. And uh, Marissa's helping. Kevin's obviously working right back here. We've got the crew together. We're ready to rock. All right, so I'm about to put out a new bell here for Dunbar and Haas and the females. I'm gonna sell in the cell here very soon. So this is what's left. I just had that hay bale in here. I know it's been a couple weeks, but I'm just updating you on this. On I've only had to put one bell in here. Here's some leftovers. These are, uh, looks like some blackberry stems, of course. They don't want to eat that. But I mean, this is it. This is all the rubble left. They're actually able to stick their heads under there, both sides, and clean it. Look how clean that is. There's blackberry thorns left there too. So they're gonna come over here and see me. What's up, Dunbar? My baby boy. Not so baby anymore, he's big. Um, but just wanted to show you, this thing's working really well hasn't moved i could chain it i'll do it right now just because i'm here but they're not getting rough and rowdy in here i was going to put calves on this side but i haven't done it yet but we will eventually have our calves over here um and there's the big joe herd they're over there grazing here's one of the my favorite little females going to the cell she's pretty hopefully she's bred she'll be entered as a two-year-old bred heifer Here's our knucklehead. Oh yeah, look at him. Mr. Haas from South Dakota. Working great, just wanna give you an update. I'm gonna cut this one and uh, I'm gonna set it in there. They're already wanting this fresh bill. They're excited about it. Pretty heifer right there. Looks good, like her confirmation. Excited to sell her. 145, she's pretty gentle too. Dunbar. Worked out, look at there. Caught the net wrap. Oh, let's go get it. And yes, I normally use my pitchforks, not my pallet forks, but I left my pitchforks down in the pasture.
So what we did is when we bought these panels, these are freestanding panels, by the way. These are 24 foot long, and they're a little different than those over there. We bought those from a different guy. I got a guy down in Paris, Texas. I can leave a link for you. Those are awesome panels. Those are your traditional looking freestanding panels. And you see the two braces in between them. Well, here, I had somebody else build some for me a couple years ago, and I wanted to get some height. Uh, because I thought maybe we needed some heights where we actually push the bison pretty hard. So these are much taller. I mean, I'm, I mean, here's, here's my eye vision right here, right? So that's where we're at. These suckers are tall. I mean, look how much taller they are than the bison. These were just not built near as well. And uh, Kevin is going back through and having to weld these sockets where that sucker rod runs into a drilled hole in this two and seven eighths pipe. They stuck it in there and then they didn't do a very good job of welding right here. So a bunch of them came out and Kevin is going back through. We're popping them back in actually. We're bending the sucker rod, popping them back in place and then Kevin's welding them up. And you can see here, lots of them broke. It's just one of those things we're just having to repair somebody else's uh, work. And uh, this is what we're dealing with. We use this for our little round pin here. This is where the big Joe Hurd will come through that gate where Kevin is. We'll catch him in here, right, Dunbar, and then we'll be on the other side. And this is where Jerry and Kevin will work, and we'll get the skid steer, the pusher. Got it painted, by the way. And then they'll run down the lane here where Kevin is. The skid steer and the pusher will go all the way down there to that overhead. So that's what's happening. It's all gonna go down. What are you doing? You just want the stick. Haas and uh, one of the females, Levin's in there. Here's 145, she's going, the other one's going. Our lonesome God here, Mr. Dunbar. We gotta go get him real quick, have them go. So here's one sort of paddock or corral. And then the other side, that's why I put that splitter hay bale right there so the other side can get hay too. So now that's where I gotta get Dunbar to go. Let's go talk to him real quick. Get him to go. Chicken's cleaning up after the bison. Hey, you can get hay on the other side, big boy. Looking pretty, Dunbar. Dark coat in. You got a shower. Last night's rain. <coughs> Oh boy. You and your little butt. And big old top shoulder. Oh boy, Dunbar. Go ahead and go through there. I gotcha. Oh boy. All right, so got those five caught. There's cubes on the ground, which caught their interest. It helped me out. They love those cubes. Maya? No. So they're caught. Next. Big Joe Herd. All right, here it is. Those bison out there. You gotta come right in. <laughs> Some of this muddy place. You gotta get Big Joe up here to see his best friend, Dunbar the rest of the females because it's that time let's get them rounded up brought in here they're gonna stay here overnight and then tomorrow we actually work the bison here we go Dunbar and Hoss so basically how this is done is uh they're out in the pasture 
We've got Cole and Marissa and Brooks with us. We just picked up Brooks from school. So now I'm gonna get a small bale of hay, roll it out in that paddock. So when they come in, they've got food for tonight and tomorrow. So I haven't given them cubes in like a week. It's been a while. So then after I give them hay, the four of us are going to go take a bag of cubes in the ATV, which is how we round them up. It's how we catch them and they know the ATV and try to pull them and see if they'll follow us. So all sounds good, but uh, you just hope it works. So that's what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna grab a bale of hay real quick. It's just a little guy. I don't really need a full one, but we'll take this one. Uh, they're already starting to make their way. <laughs> they know it's feeding time, which is good. Let's take this over here. One of my favorite times to be here. Beautiful. They're already coming up here. They heard the skid steer. Coming. If I open the gate, they may just come in. <laughs> if you open the gate or shut the gate on the left and open them up, they may just come in here. You want to see you it? Yeah, but you go ahead and shut the the alley or the lane, and then let them in. Okay. I, they're they're hungry. And then, and then uh, you just pull in here, and we'll just we'll hide in the corner and let them all come in, and then we'll sneak around and lock them. Yeah, you can if you want to pull over there where Big Joe is right now. Okay. Other side of the water. Yeah, I bet you can get him. Let me roll it out, but you can go ahead. Okay. So Marissa's going to... Marissa and Brooks are just going to go... There's a gate over here on the side. Marissa are going to shut a gate because where our lane is. Then they're going to open the gate so they can come in. I'm going to roll this out. Hey guys. The skid's here? Yeah. Where are you going with the skid steer, hon? I'm just gonna move back here. Okay. I'll move.
Now that we've caught all the bison, we're gonna go through and shut all the gates and make sure they're chained and latched. Charlie! Oh, look who came to see you, Brooks! It's Charlie! Hey, Charlie! What are you doing, girl? You got your winter coat in. You're fluffy. You're so fluffy. Hey, Maya. Charlie. Eleanor came up. She's the only one that we didn't get caught, which is okay. We don't like having Eleanor in tight spaces, and neither does she. So she's able to come up here and still touch nose to nose and smell the bison. She's going to get some extra cubes from us, special for our Eleanor. And then we're going to try to catch her tomorrow so that we can get her her proper dewormer and taken care of and back out in the pasture where she belongs. Come on. Don't mind the birdhouse. Jeez, Jesse. I know. Bison had fun with it. Crushed oh, it. Come on. Crushed it. But Cole's going to open this gate for me and I'm going to reward them with a sack of cubes. Yep. Yeah, you put, uh, Probably pull. Okay, you can pull it now. A block. So Cole can shock it. Okay, you got it? Perfect. I'm going to put out a... Hey, little guy. Little girl, actually. I'm going to roll out some cubes real quick. They've got hay for the night. There's Big Joe and Dunbar. Buddies. And I've got them some cubes for the, this evening. It's a reward system for being awesome animals. Look at that pretty sunset, y'all. So pretty. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It is awesome. What a beautiful evening. Great sunset. It's beautiful. Oh, he's bison. All right, Peaches, now you back up. I'm gonna go double check and <laughs> make sure everything's tied up. He's He's missed his lady. I think that's probably one of the easiest. They came right up to you, didn't catch do anything. And that's just from I like I haven't given them a sack of cubes in a week or so. They heard you on that skid steer. They just walked right <laughs> they up. They did. You. They know because they think skid steer means food because of the the hay. So all animals are caught except Eleanor. She's a she's just Eleanor. Hey, Eleanor. We'll get her. See you tomorrow. Brooks! Say, we got...